Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. All right, guys, today got a little weird. Um, I just got home at 2 a.m. from the emergency room. My brother went to the emergency room tonight because he was having um, some, like, weirdness going on. He felt like he was going to pass out, and he had some numbness, and he thought he was having, like, a stroke or something. So he went to the emergency room, and then, like, he got dropped off and had no way out of there. So, um... Me and my dad went to pick him up, but my dad doesn't, my dad's older. Like, I was like, do you want me to drive you? And he was like, please. So I drove him and I found out I was relieving. Like, there's no rush because they're putting an IV on him. I'm like, why are we going right now? But okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I was just doing. And interesting, the other day a deer came here and I had opened the door to go out to bring trash out. And the deer was like right there. He went down to the bottom of the steps and just stood there for five minutes. I recorded him. I put it on my personal Facebook tonight. Well, that same day, right? He finally left and he came back later on that day. Um, and then I saw again. And then tonight when we were leaving, there was one at the driveway we going out, right? Then we're driving, you know, to go get my brother and we see more. And then we pick him up. And we're driving to his house and we saw like eight more of them. Like non-stop deers. Deers have the message of like no matter what's going on, being gentle in our approach. Like being gentle to ourselves, being gentle like even in our escape from, from fear and things like that. Because things happen in the world and sometimes we're like, oh, and we panic and we like run and, and we just like hurt ourselves and it's you know it's crazy because my dad told me the other day there's like this thing in our yard that it's like a it's like well water okay but it's like a big area of water so the woman that owns a house put like a chain link fence around that just to protect anybody from like falling in and drowning the other day a deer got in there somehow i wasn't here my dad was like it went on for like an hour the deer got in there somehow and then was like stuck in there so he went and, like, opened the gate so the deer could get out, but the deer ended up hitting the gate and closing it again. So he had to go and, like, open the gate the other way. And finally the deer got out. But, again, this message is coming surrounding the deer about, like, no matter what's going on, if you're feeling trapped or you feel like you need to escape or if things are chaotic or, like, like I know my brother can sometimes, like, hype himself up in the head more like with anxiety and stuff so I feel like today was probably a combination of that I was like I'm not feeling good I'm overworking myself I'm tired now I'm having some weird shit go on and I think he kind of gets like panicky um and that's the type of thing like right the deer got stuck in there he gets panicky and he's like oh my dad was afraid that he was gonna hurt himself trying to get out of there because he was like freaking out and then you know all the deers that I saw tonight are like, oh, oh, oh. like they're all nervous and but they're still graceful when they go. So I feel like regardless of what's going on in your life right now, if you're trying to escape something or you're trying to achieve something or you feel fear or doubt or whatever, or if things are going wrong, just be graceful, you know, and give yourself grace as well. Like we don't always have to know what's happening and it's, it's going to be okay. A lot of things are happening right now, like a lot of transition a lot of unexpected transition too. Like I, I received a message tonight that shocked me. I was like, what? Like totally just unexpected. What? Um, and then later on, I'm like, I finally sat down because I worked all day. I finally sat down. And my dad's like, we got to go to the emergency room. And I'm like, unexpected shocker. Like this type of stuff coming up right now. Okay. So, um, I also saw Hawks this morning on my way to to work I was like driving in and I saw two hawks and I was recording when I was seeing them and at the time of seeing the two hawks I was like hawk like a little white orb thing came in and did something so I felt like it was like connected to the spirit of the hawk the spirit of the hawk is about rising above any of the storms it's kind of like the eagle condor energy seen from the heart and rising above the bullshit and just looking at the bigger perspective okay so we're moving on with recognizing shame Shame is characterized by the belief that you are bad. This emotion is based upon a distorted sense of yourself as being unworthy, damaged, or a failure. Young children are completely dependent upon caregivers for a sense of safety and connection in the world. 
When parents are frightening, abusive, or unavailable, children can feel confused about who is at fault. When children witness something bad, they feel bad. Inaccurate and judgmental thoughts, such as the following ones, perpetuate shame. There must be something wrong with me. I'm so stupid. I can't seem to do anything right. I'm an emotional wreck. I'm just lazy. I'm so stupid, I say all the time. Because any little thing that I... Even if it's like I didn't do something, it's just like a... I'm so stupid. And I know I'm not. And I know other people know I'm not. Like, I'm clearly not stupid. I've done a lot of things that prove otherwise. <laughs> like, you know, I know I'm not. But it's just an instant, like, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm so stupid. And it's not good. It's That's shame. Okay? And then, like, I'm just lazy. Like, I, I feel that way sometimes when I'm just exhausted. I'm not lazy. I'm fucking exhausted. I've been doing a lot of shit, man. Doing a lot of shit. Like, you're not lazy for being tired. And then, um, there must be something wrong with me. Like, I say that stuff, too. Like, oh, there's something wrong with me. I'm crazy. I'm so stupid. <laughs> so those things are shame. And once you are aware of the messages that you're telling yourself, you can do something about them and you will develop the strength to turn your pain, to turn towards your pain. Do, oh, wait. You can do something about them and you will develop the strength to turn towards your pain. Okay? So you get stronger towards your pain. The self-compassion and acceptance practices you will discover in this workbook are antidotes to shame. So what depressive symptoms like hopelessness, despair, depression, powerlesness, lack of self-efficacy, helplessness, shame, unworthiness, do you experience? And how do these symptoms show themselves in your life? Okay? So, like, try to pay attention. Or just, like, even just go back over the past couple of days. Like, did you do something? You're like, I'm so stupid. Or, like, I'm just lazy. Or I'm such an emotional wreck. Or I can't keep it together. Or something's wrong with me. You know, where have you been doing that? Because that, there's probably shame around it and probably some stuff to help you clear that up, okay? So um, I think we will do the physical symptoms tomorrow just because it's kind of late. i got to get up and go to work again tomorrow morning, and there's a lot of them. And this video is already like seven minutes long, and I know people like short ones. So uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing subscribing, doing all those things. I am trying to do, I'm going to do LCLA healing videos again. I just, I don't like to do healing work when I'm not feeling at my best. And I couldn't even go to Amazon work the other day. So never mind. Like, let me channel. But, oh my God, tonight, when I got home from the hospital, there's this big, huge thing out there. And it's still out there right now. My dad saw it. I was like, look at he was exhausted, though, but he did. He stopped and looked at it, and it was moving, okay? It's still out there. It's huge, and it, but it's not moving fast. It's not a plane. It's not anything. He's like, maybe it's a space station because it's up there, and it's, like, slowly moving, but then it stops, and then it slowly moves back. And it's, and it's like, stationed there, but it's definitely moving in that area, uh, and I've, I've looked and checked a few times. Like, if I go outside right now, I can see every star in the sky. I can see Orion. I can see the Pleiades. I can see it all, but... From my window, I can't really see the stars, but I can see that thing. It's still out there every time I've checked so far. So, very cool. Um, I definitely feel like this is a time right now where things are just heightened. It's a potent time. So, don't be surprised if crazy, like, unexpected things happen. It's a time of transition. Um, the veil is very thin, so people may be crossing over. Um, and that's nothing to be afraid of, and that's nothing to be, like upset about you know like obviously we're going to be upset if we lose a physical person in our lives but their soul is still there their spirit is still there their energy is still there they're not really gone they're just in a different energy you know they're still present they're still all around us they show up in the videos they're they're out there in the in the energies energy cannot be destroyed it just transforms so um you know our physical bodies here on this planet seem to age and change and then we suffer and we struggle and we don't feel good and we like we age to a place where it's like okay so and even if we don't age even if like something unexpected happens and we pass away unexpectedly there will be a reason for it um so whatever you got going on right now whether it's transition in your mind your body your soul your love your you know career 
um, your life, whatever it is, just know that it's it's okay and um, everything will be okay. Okay, so thank you again in your name. Namaste.